I said a couple of videos back, if you watch the Boba Fett videos, that uh, I wanted to spread out, uh, put a couple of different uh, stuff on this channel, and uh, fingers crossed, this will be the, the benchmark of uh, something new for this, uh, as we come to the end of the Fett helmets. Uh, we're going to move on to other props. Uh, it's still Star Wars, um, if you can call the prequel Star Wars. It's of course a, uh, a clone trooper helmet, to be more precise, it's a Commander Cody helmet. Um, not a big fan of the prequels, but there are a couple of designs I liked in it, and Cody being one of them. Uh, so I picked this up in a trade, I was offered it in a trade, um, I knew how difficult these helmets were to get. So I thought, why not, I always like Cody, let's get him. Uh, we won't be doing a full suit. There's a clone's not as expensive as Boba, but they're quite a lot of work. Uh, this will just be on my display case. I think it looked nice with the Fett helmets and the Stormtroopers. Uh, so yeah, um, been working away on this. Um, I'm not going to do a tutorials like I did with the Fett helmets. Just sort of a build log, uh, some updated videos of uh, how I'm getting on with it. Uh, maybe maybe I'll mention some of the colours, but I'm not going to do anything in depth as this is my first clone and I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Uh, so I've gone ahead, I trimmed up the visor area, and I trimmed up the frown. Uh, this one's all been filed in with the detail files, as you can see, they look very nice and neat. Uh, the other side, not so much. Uh, these just been uh, drilled through with a drill. Um, but the, the cast in itself with the helmet is from Evo 3 in uh, America. Um, He's well known on a couple of forums. His helmets are fantastic. I've never held one before apart from this. And I've got to say the quality is fantastic. Everything is, is crisp, sharp. Uh, there's very little work. Uh, the main uh, issue with the helmets are the seam lines. But really that's nothing. It's a little bit of sandpaper, a bit of filler. And you're done. So uh, yeah, if you ever in doubt again an Evo helmet, seriously, go and get one. They are, they are top notch things. Um, so yesterday, I spent about a day and a half, like I said, on this. Most of the time involved was in this. Um, it's in primer. It probably looks quite nice on the camera, but it's actually quite uh, quite horrid in, uh, in real life, as I haven't touched it. Um, but I had to trim all this out. So I trimmed all this up the Dremel. Uh, same with the top and the sides. Um, and I've bolted it to the helmet. As, of course, if you know Cody, this is orange. Uh, it would be kind of difficult to mask everything out, so I wanted it to be able to take it off. So I put two, I think I've used roofing bolts, um, they've worked out quite well. Uh, bolt goes here, I've lined it up with the back of the trim, uh, so that once this is painted black, you won't, you shouldn't be able to see the bolts. But if you look at the back, uh, the way that Evo has made this helmet, the fit on these is so tight to the helmet anyway, you can't even see the bolts. It's a little difficult to get on with the bolts, but uh, it holds it nicely. Um, had a little issues now with... Uh, these little bits, these little bits attached to, attach in here, it's quite fiddly to get into. But as you can see, I'm, I've got quite the, uh, a gap in between, so I'm thinking of heating these up and maybe bending them in slightly. But this is fiberglass, so uh, I think you can only bend it so much before it'll shatter. So I'm kind of apprehensive of doing that. Um, excuse me, I'm just uh, getting over a cold, so if I sound a bit uh, muggy, I do apologise. Um, helmet comes with a lot of accessories. Uh, Cody likes his accessories in the film. Probably something that I like with the with the character. Um, I've seen this method. I can't think who done it uh, ages ago when I was looking at Cody helmets, and I gone ahead and used it. Uh, the pieces come with already these keys uh, locked in. The keys. So I just drill through the holes and install the magnet here, and a magnet on this, and this whole desk, and it's solid, it's not going to come off. Uh, same with the stalk, a little magnet in there, there's a magnet down in there, it was actually a washer down in here, this then clips in. You probably wouldn't need a magnet for this, it's pretty strong. Um, the last little thing he has is this little antennae. Uh, again, uh, I've actually got to put a, a uh, screw head in there, as it's quite a thin uh, a bit of resin there, and the magnets nicely embedded in there, and that all fits nice and flush, and it's nice and strong. Um, so yeah, like I said, do the regular build logs of this. Um, hopefully you guys will like it, if you do, um, maybe put some more up, some different props and stuff. 
Uh, try and step away from Star Wars a bit. It's once you get stuck with Star Wars, uh, everyone wants you to do Star Wars pieces for them. And uh, I don't really want to do that. I'm trying to get into the industry and at the moment my portfolio consists entirely of uh, Star Wars things. So yeah, um, I'll update next now. Maybe when I got all this in primer, uh, I'm ready to put paint down. So yeah, uh, if you like it, like the video, comment, subscribe, whatever. And uh, thanks for watching.